Hey ladies and gents, this is Izdwiz coming to you with a look at the Mythic Legions art book. Book one, uh, it was put out by KRCO, um, a guy named Jesse Blaze Snyder, best known for being the son of D. Snyder of Twisted Sister, um, was behind the effort to get this book out. And there were substantial delays um, for lots of different reasons, but it just finally got here today. So um, I'm very excited to show this to everyone. So Mythic Legions book one. Um, it's um, part of the Kickstarter uh, and the second Kickstarter. Uh, of course, that was all about the action figures and the characters of Mythic Legions, but this is kind of a bonus um, part comic book and part trading card game, um, or um, but mostly just uh, something to help flesh out the characters. As you can see on the second page, you have uh, Hera, Hera Serpent Spire. And you have Artemis Silver Cord. This bit of art is fantastic. And it was done by Nate Barch, the guy who does all the packaging art for Mythic Legions. And uh, has done it for Gothatropolis and has done it for Seventh Kingdom. And it's just amazing bit of art. I'd kind of like to figure out a way to frame it or get it out of this comic book and display it with my figures so that I can look at it all the time. So, um, as you can see, um, it's a comic book. It's a, it's, it's a regular comic book and it tells the story of um, the world of Mythic Legions and introduces some of the characters. Um, it, it's, the art is by Axel Jimenez. Um, I think the coloring, let's see, Axel Jimenez, um, is the art he, he, he did not do the cover um, the colors are by somebody named Robbie Bavard um, Axel Jimenez does a good job with the art um, here you go getting a look at what the world of mythos is all about and then there's a short comic book story that was actually available to people earlier um, as a PDF, although that was a PDF. Look at that. That's wicked right there. Um, an orc getting decapitated um, by a minotaur. So um, it was available earlier as a PDF. Here's a two-page spread that's very cool, and it just shows... A lot of the characters in action. Artemis Silver Cord here. Um, the, a Minotaur. And a, engaging in battle with a bunch of orcs. And then right here we have Scapular the Crypt Breaker. And the story keeps going. Um, I think uh, a few people complained about... Um, the inks not them not hiring a, a proper inker and I, I think that they did a great job I would have probably hired someone um, to ink it uh, instead of what they did but it still came out really nicely and I'm I like the story and I'm glad I got it the PDF had a lot of typos and grammatical errors and you know bunch of stuff but that got cleaned up for the most part this is one of my favorite parts of of it when it starts going into the individual characters and um, laying out the bios and I love the art that they used for this Urzok, both our Shadowhorn, Urku, Bog Goblin all the big bad guys um, it's just really cool to see this art I actually prefer to um, I, I guess not just the art, but the, the art, the coloring, and the inks on this um, 
are actually a little more vibrant and more exciting. Overall, I like the glossy paper. Um, it's it's pretty decent, high quality. Look at this. Um, that's Carpathius right there. Vorgus Vermilius, the blood armor. Azhar and Zazhar. I really lo love the dramatic poses and, and the action. Really draws one in. Here's another two page spread, which is awesome. Forces of good and evil um, engaged in battle. Here's some good guys like Artemis Silvercord, Astrion, the Minotaur, Orn Steelhide. The army of the Odysseus or of Ethiron. So I love I love these this art and this character. I like some of the concept sketches. It's Atlas the Conqueror. And there's a game, I guess you can play with dice. And I, I I'm not much of a gamer, so I don't know how that works, but maybe I'll try to figure it out. Just a little bonus. Um Here's a character that we haven't seen yet, Erethir, and, and um, an early sculpt by uh, Eric Treadaway and some concept art. That's kind of cool to see. And then we have Nate Barch, his art again reproduced on the back pages. So the back cover. Um, you've got the Stone Troll, you've got the Forest Troll. To see um, all the orcs and everybody in battle. It, it also comes with some extras. It comes with this postcard, which is sort of a classic, placid scene of um, some of the characters in repose there, posing. Um, Otho, Artemis Silvercord, uh, Asteron, and I forget what his name is. This is a nice, thick. Uh, card stock, so it's a cool postcard. It's small, but um, a nice plus. And then there's a mini print, which um, this is bad because it got ruined when they folded it in half to fit it in the mailer. So um, I'm going to try to figure out a way to salvage that. But this is a mailer it came in, and it was a poor planning there. The, the fold is a little bit diagonal, and it just pretty much ruins the print. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, then the cards, the trading cards. These are number 20 for, of 100. And um, a lot of people were not happy with the fact that we didn't get every single character. I think we only get... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And um, it's, it's I think, pretty much random which six you get. And the cards are a single sheet, and they're perforated so that if you want to cut them out, you can. But I'm not going to. Um, here's what the back of the card looks like. I think I, I'm just going to keep them as a sheet. I, I love this art. I'm glad I got the Legion of Earth here because I, I love the, the orcs and Urzok and Gorgo. Um, so I don't know if you want a full set, I guess you're going to have to figure out a way to, um, trade with friends or f find them elsewhere because I can't see anybody buying another book just so they can get some of the other, um, character cards. But this was a nice little bonus. Um, I guess some people were also upset that the cards weren't cut out or whatever, but I like it like this. Um. It's nice glossy paper. The print job is is pretty well done. And yeah, I would have liked to have gotten all the characters, but um, for what, seeing as how it's a bonus, um, it's not too bad. All right, so um, that is my review of the Mythic Legions art book. Um, I'm glad I got it. It wasn't the focal point of the Kickstarter, but it's a nice little bonus. Um, took a while longer that than I would have wanted, but, you know, that's how Kickstarter is sometimes. All right, is to is signing off.